Hi, in this short tutorial we will see one of the most interesting new features of the last release of MeshLab. It deals with the fact that the number of operations that you can apply on a model or on a raster in MeshLab is becoming bigger and bigger and sometimes it's, it's quite difficult to find what is the best for you by just looking at the filters menu or uh, having a look at the rendering modes for example. So we decided to add a search functionality on the top uh, right part of the interface. Uh, the search functionality works in an extremely simple way. You have to need, you just need to start writing the, the keyword that uh, is related to the functionality that you want to apply and you will have uh, all the, the list of all the filters which relate to this keyword. This can be extremely useful also because the search is not made only on the name of the filter but also on its uh, um, description in the uh, help uh, information about the filter. So even if uh, the keyword you are ch uh, searching is not part of the name of the filter, the, name, the, the filter can be retrieved by the search functionality so that you can uh, uh, learn new ways to make the same operation. So I'm uh, showing just a couple of examples which were suggested by my colleague Guido Ranzuglia and uh, uh, the first one, for example, is one of the operations that you have to apply uh, quite often. Uh, that is the one that uh, reduces the number of uh, triangles in a 3D model. So it can be um, described with different uh, keywords. One of the, the possible uh, keywords is simplification. So if, for example, I start writing simplification and search for the filter, I, for example, I found, find that there is one filter which is called simplification edge collapse and it's a way to reduce the number of triangles but there are, there's also another functionality which uh, probably works even better but it's, uh, it goes under the, the, the name of uh, decimation which is uh, an alternative way to describe this uh, uh, remeshing operation. So you see that the same operation can be made by different filters with different name and uh, the simplification simplify, the, the word simplify is part of the description uh, in the help part of the filter. So I was able to retrieve it even if its name doesn't uh, uh, contain any simplification or simplify uh, reference. So uh, when you have to apply an operation just find the right keyword and uh, then you could uh, have uh, uh, new ways to apply the very same operation. Um, let's just make another example we, we want to uh, calculate the ambient occlusion on this model to help understanding the shape of, of the geometry. So if I start writing ambient, I can find four possibilities. The first one is not a way to, it's not a way to uh, calculate the ambient occlusion, but it's only a rendering mode. So this shows the ambient occlusion, but it's only as a, a decoration. And, but it can be extremely useful, if, for example, if you want only to make a screenshot of the model. Uh, the other possibilities are the two classic ambient occlusion uh, calculation filters per vertex and per face, but there is also another filter which is called volumetric obscurance. If you have a look at the description it says that it is introduced to avoid the disadvantages of ambient uh, term and ambient occlusion. So this could be another possibility that you can try to obtain a result which is similar to the one that you uh, obtain by applying this, the, the classic ambient occlusion. Okay. So uh, the use of the search uh, functionality can be extremely useful. Uh, the only way, uh, the, the only hint that I can give uh, about this is the, the same that I should give by, by analyzing the use of any kind of web search engine. You have to know a bit about the keywords. You have to write the, the right keywords in order to be able to find the right filters for you. So you still need to know a bit what uh, you are going to, to apply on, on your project. But if you write the right keywords, you could uh, discover uh, a lot of functionalities that maybe are a bit hidden inside the filters menu, that, that, but uh, they can be experimented and um, be very useful for the everyday use of uh, 
mashlab thank you